the value of art and how art can impact our lives. Art, painting, is a reflection of my inner self. It is a depiction of how I express myself. It is through art that I express what I feel. The connection which your mind makes with your hand and the travel of thoughts from your hand to the canvas can create something so colorful, so abstract and give you so much happiness and satisfaction. I grew up with art. As a child, I saw my mother painting throughout my childhood. Wherever we went, she would carry this little art kit with a sketch pad and colors and I would sit and paint and doodle and sketch and fill coloring books after coloring books. Going through school, time for college. I had to pursue a subject and I knew that art was the only thing that I wanted to do. With a huge support from my parents and I'll tell you why. I went to one of the finest schools of art in Asia, in Shanti Niketan, which was started by Rabindranath Tagore, he himself being the patron of the arts. Music, dance, theater. I'd like to call Shanti Niketan an art village. Everyone there did only art. Everyone there expressed only through art. And being there made me realize that art was the only thing I wanted to do for the rest of my life. Not nationally, not just coming from India, but it's a global phenomenon. Art as a career, how are you going to make a living out of it? Reminds me of an incident. I was once catching up with an old friend and she says, hi, Omeka, what do you do? And I say, I paint. I'm an artist. And she said, okay, but what do you really do? And I replied, I paint. Art has a lot more to do with than just being a mere hobby. And we are yet to get there. For me, art is magical. It is triggered by the most basic senses. What you see, what you hear, what you touch, what you taste, something so simple can ignite an inspiration to make art. It is powerful. It is a language to which you can express. It is a language that will give you without return. Do you need the skill of art to understand art? No, you don't. A very recurring question. I can't draw. I can't understand art. How do you understand art? How do you relate to art? Well, you don't need the skill of art to understand art. When you look at a work of art, it gives something back to you. And that is what it means to you. It is your personal relation with that art piece. It's not necessary I get the same thing or you get the same thing. It's different. And that is how you establish your relation and meaning of that particular art. I can't teach you how to paint. I can't teach you how to be creative. But I can teach you to want to paint, to make yourself be creative. You need to want to do that. You need to want to establish that connection. And it's never too late for that. As an artist, where do these thoughts come from? How do you create what you create? How do you create that has never been done before? It is the ability to disconnect from the outside world of materialism and connect with the internal fountain of inspiration and thought. Go so deep, detach so much that you reach that level of meditation and that is when the thoughts start to flow. These thoughts have no bodily control over each other. And that is when you're able to create something that has never been done before. Art can create awareness. 
it can shape minds, it can build societies. As an artist, I always wanted to give back what art gave me. Six years ago, I chose to raise awareness for one such art form that has gotten into the danger of becoming instinct. The art form of Thanka, from the religion of Buddhism. An art form that talks only about spreading joy, happiness, be compassionate, be witnesses of this joy, compassion, to be able to create that state of calm in your mind internally, in all the chaos, to be like the lotus flower, a lotus flower that blooms in muddy waters and is untouched by its surroundings. Be independent, express what you feel. Sankas were done to commemorate these teachings of Lord Buddha. They were done to spread this way of life, a way of life that at the end is the only thing that matters. In today's day and age, the monks, the artists and their generations who painted these tankas have fallen into a ditch. Nobody knows about this tradition. Nobody knows these teachings as ways of lives. And the idea was to create awareness for the same. This came to me most when I was in Bhutan. Bhutan that was so close to nature. Tankas that are the closest to nature. When you paint tankas, you paint nature and what nature gives you. Talking about nature and me being here in Flores, it is as close to nature as one can get. There is more nature than humans. And as humans, we need to realize what we have around us and value it. My project here has been about painting murals all over the island. Painting murals about nature and its elements to create awareness for what's around you and to add value to that. Being here in Flores has helped me connect with people. It has helped me relate to them. It has helped me help them to want to paint, to come out, to express themselves, to open up. And that is what art can do. It can change your mind. It can change perceptions. It can change the way you look at life. It can make you happier. It's like therapy. Art is a kaleidoscope of new possibilities. Art is my language. It is through which I express my feelings. It is my figure of speech. It is through which I express myself. It is through which I tell my story to the world. The idea is to do so much art that it makes everyone want to do so much art and make your minds and this environment healthier day by day. Thank you.